I use the FTP task all the time in SSIS packages. It is, outside of the main data flow tasks, it's probably one of my more common tasks, that and the execute process. Uh, and I often use those two in conjunction. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you through three, four videos of using the FTP task and combining that with the execute process task. And we're going to do a lot of real world things in this particular section. First up, I'm just going to give you an overview of what the FTP task is, how it works, how you can use it. I'm also going to give you the login information to an FTP that I've set up for this particular course. So you can actually download the files and work with the files yourself. You can actually connect up to our FTP. The second video is going to go a little deeper. Now that you've seen the basics of the FTP task, let's talk about dealing with multiple files. How do we do for each loops versus can we do it all in one shot? And then after that, I don't know if it's third video, fourth video, we're going to get into working with the execute process task. And one of the things that I've had to do very, very often is to zip up a set of files, upload them through FTP. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the data flow task to create a text file. Then we're going to use the execute process task to zip that text file up. And then we're going to use the FTP to load it up to a server. So we're going to, uh, this is something you'll probably find many uses for in the real world. So we're going to take a look at that in here. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to go launch the Visual Studio, create a package. Just give me a brand new project, integration services. And we're going to start with just our plain FTP task. So here it is over here in the toolbox, right there, FTP task. Just drag it onto the surface. Now the FTP task is also or it takes advantage of a connection manager, just like many of the other tasks will. Now this is really handy because it means that we can have multiple FTP tasks, but only have to define the connection information in a single location, unlike what we used to have to do in the old DTS days. So the first step that you need to do is create yourself a connection here. Now this connection is, when I'm looking at it right here, you can see my server name. And I'm going to give you an actual FTP connection, OK? So here's the username. Let me zoom in. So there are the credentials. And your password right here is just learn it first. Okay, all lowercase, learn it first. So that's what you're going to use to log in to FTP. Now this doesn't have to be FTP. This can be directories on a server. I'm just using this so that you can uh, have some actual FTP information. Okay, so you can actually use this. You could load this up. Um, so I'm going to type in learn it first and test the connection, verify things are okay. Notice my retries down in the bottom. And I say OK. Now, if you want to test that out instead of waiting for the connection manager, you can load up your browser of choice. I chose, uh, in this case, uh, uh, Firefox here. Um, and I could just go to ftp.learnitfirst.com. And it prompts me for my username and password. So again, SSIS158. And the password is just learn it first. And we can remember the password. And so it just shows me a rudimentary FTP browser. We're going to be working for this video and the next video in Chapter 4 for customers.txt. You can see that it is really data. So we have three columns and four rows that we're going to eventually want to load into a table, for example. Now, back over here into the FTP task editor. Stop on failure, true or false, your choice. Give it a name, give it a description. I usually try to be in my name uh, verb-based, action-based. What am I doing? Download file from FTP server, for example. 
Now the bulk of the work is going to be done in the file transfer screen, tab, page, whatever this is. Uh, those of you that are more experienced will know that we work a lot with expressions, often with FTP, but in this course we haven't gotten to expressions yet, so I'm going to leave that for the next chapter in Chapter 5 when we start talking about those. Okay. Now here, here's where we are. Take a look at what we get the options to do with the FTP. Now it's actually quite specific, okay? Um, this is not just a generic, I'm going to open an FTP, then my next connection, or my next thing is I'll create a directory, then I'll upload a file, then I'll create a subdirectory, and I'll upload a file. You're going to be very granular in what you're doing here. You will often find in an SSIS package, because you have so many options, that you have one FTP connection manager, but you might have five, four, eight, FTP tasks because number one you need to delete the remote files then you need to remove a oops, sorry remove a remote directory then you need to create the remote directory again I, I'm just kind of picking a couple things and then you would need to send the files and that would be four separate FTP tasks so they all use the same connection but each one of them will disconnect and reconnect as the task comes to it. So it's really nice that we have this in the old DTS days, and if you're coming from DTS this will mean something. We used to have to do everything in batch files. DTS had an FTP task, but it was so limited and so weak that I think unless you were doing the most simple uh, download of a file, it was useless. You really had to go to batch and you had to launch FTP.exe and it was just no fun because then you had your passwords in text format. And this is so much of a, an improvement here. So depending on what we're trying to do, notice if I choose to send files, it says, well, what's the local path? Well, I need to make a file connection. Now my file connection, notice it's an existing file. I can't choose to create the file because I'm saying it's a, a, an already file that exists. I'm sending it to that remote server. Okay. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about wildcards and dealing with multiple files and such. But right now, we're just going to stick to single file transfers.